up, duckies? Andy Lippy here. How the devil are we today? Back with another advanced OBS tutorial. This time we're looking at Twitch viewers controlling OBS. Okay, you're going to need a couple of things, but before we get into this, make sure you do subscribe and like the video, because there are going to be some more advanced plugins coming your way that I'm working on, and you cannot miss it, okay? Let's get into it. Put your rock for the stone. Let's go. So a little disclaimer, I'm not actually using this plugin anymore. I'm using one that's a little bit more advanced, which I'm doing a video series on right now. It's just taking a little bit to get my head around it. But this is kind of a good starting point for you to understand how the, the plugin works and, and everything like that, okay? So to download this, you've got to have Firefox. So the fire, the, that's the thing that kind of put me off. You can only use Firefox as your web browser. It tells you a little bit what the plugin does. You can get people to control your scene changes and also your source visibilities. So if you've got a certain source that maybe you've got a little animation that you can have, somebody can pay a certain amount of channel points and be able to pull that up on screen right in the middle or whatever, kind of like an alert, okay? So to get this, you just jump to the website, all the links are below, and you can actually pay for it, okay? Which, don't do it. Okay, I've got a new video coming with a better plugin that you don't need to pay for. So just get the free one to give it a trial. You need to install the Firefox add-on. So you press this. It's going to take you to the Firefox add-ons page. Add it, press add to Firefox. I just removed it there by accident. Press add again. Sorted. Got it. That's that bit done. Easy as cake. And then we need to install the OBS plugin WebSocket, which I've talked about in my previous videos as well. So pressing that link takes us to WebSocket, press download, okay, it'll uh, take you to a GitHub. If we scroll all the way down, you want to download, you can use the Windows installer if you like, so if you press Windows installer, save the file, it's going to uh, open the file now, and then you just need to run through the installation. It'll install it in your OBS Studio folder, which should be under Program Files, okay? So just hit Next a few times. Um, and then press yes, you want to install it to that folder. I'm going to click no because I've already installed it. I don't want it to, to break anything. Once that's installed, you are ready to go. It uses that. And if you click up in the top right in Firefox and go to add-ons and go to extensions on the left, you'll be able to see better points is turned on. So to utilize better points, you need to log into your Twitch and go to this link just here. Open your redemption queue, which you can access within Twitch as well. So you can go into your channel and then go to um, uh, create a dashboard and you'll be able to go into your channel points on there or just hit this link as well. So I'm just going to open a new tab, go to this link. You do need to delete the brackets and Twitch username and put in your username. So mine's Andy Lippy. So I jump to there, and as you can see, I've got kind of interactive elements like people moving my camera, which is the new plugin that I'm telling you about, so make sure you are subscribed to learn a little bit about that. People can create animations and stuff on screen. Um, so you'll see down the right hand side of all these, they say BP, stands for better points, okay? And it, it's pretty simple, you, you, if you, there's a start scene, what scene is it starting on? I usually leave that blank uh, because it'll affect whatever scene that I'm on now. So what action do you want it to do? So I want it to change scene. I'll put a scene in here. I'm going to type this. My scene is called Y dot for YouTube. Uh, full screen cam. Make sure you get everything correct. Spaces, capitals, punctuation, anything in there correct. You can add another action if you like. You can do a pause, so you could say, um, wait a couple of, uh, wait, wait a second, and then do one more action of set a source visibility, and that'll turn on a different source. Again, you just type in the source just there, and you check whether it's on or not. When you're using the free version, you can only put three on there. So, like I say, it's a good little foot in the door on how to make your stream more interactive. But again, the next plugin that I'm going to be talking about is incredible, so you want to stay tuned, okay? I'm just going to leave it as change to scene full screen cam, okay? And that will save. 
You want to make sure that you are connected to OBS by pressing settings as well. And then go to address. Make sure it's usually localhost um, colon 4444. And there's not usually any passwords. So as you can see, mine is connected just there. And once that's done, all we need to do now is go to Twitch chat. Which I'll uh, pull up just on screen here. I'm using my actual thing. You can see this is what you're seeing right now. Which is not really healthy. <laughs> I'm going to press channel points. And go to move cam. Um, I think it was bottom right that I changed. So I'm going to press use. You see how it's now changed to a different scene. Easy as that. Really, really simple to do. Uh, it, it's it's not my favorite plugin. There are other things that I kind of prefer a lot more, which I'm kind of going to go on like I say in a different tutorial. So stay tuned for that. It it'll blow your mind what you'll be able to let users do. Okay. But if you've got any questions, please let me know below. Also, like, subscribe, all that jazz. And if you want to see how I'm making my stream really interactive, come and join us on Twitch.tv/AndyLippy. All right, links are below. Put your rock with the stone. See you soon.